y'all nico here welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining me i'm nico today's practice is a 10 minute yoga practice that you can do right from your bed and we'll just begin with three deep breaths inhale through the nose and exhale gently at the mouth And then go ahead and hug your knees into your chest, rocking side to side for upside down child's pose. Just waking your body up. And on your next inhale, go ahead and make your way up to a seated position. Feel free to place some pillows underneath your hips for elevation if you need to. And we'll just start with some shoulder rolls, rolling our shoulders backward. Inhale up by the ears, exhale back and down. One more time. And we'll do the same thing, roll the shoulders forward. Inhale up exhale forward and down come back to a neutral position sweep those arms up with an inhale go ahead and bend at the right elbow grabbing it with the left hand and pulling it down getting a good stretch in those shoulders and triceps Inhale the arms back up, exhale grab the opposite elbow, take your right hand, plant it down on the ground beside you, dropping your left ear to your left shoulder. If you would like a deeper stretch, you can gently place your left hand on the side of your head. Just getting a bit of a deeper stretch on the right side of your neck. Inhale, exhale, release. Dropping the right ear to the right shoulder and placing the right hand on the head if you like. Release, sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the ceiling, and go ahead and bring those interlaced fingers behind your head, rounding the spine and bringing the elbows together. We're just moving into a seated cat cow with open elbows. So as you open the elbows, inhale, and as you close them, exhale. Arching the spine as you inhale, rounding the spine as you exhale. And this is gonna give us a stretch in between those shoulder blades, and then we're kind of creating some weight on the back of the head, just a little bit to get a stretch in the upper part of our shoulders and in our neck, releasing some tension there. Release the hands. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pillow and bring it underneath my hips just to show you Sometimes as you're practicing in bed, your body will start to sink down into your bed. So feel free to use that for hip elevation. Sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, and twist to your right. 
Bringing your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Your right fingertips will face the wall behind you and you'll bring your gaze over that back shoulder. Inhale back up to center, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, exhale, twist to the left, right hand on the outside of left knee, left fingertips, face the back wall, gaze over the left shoulder, or as far as you can. Bringing that gaze towards the back of the room just helps to deepen the stretch. Inhale back up to center, interlace the fingers, palms, press away again. Exhale your hands down to your sides. And we're gonna make a fire lock position with our legs, but feel free to stay in regular easy pose with your legs crossed. Stacking our right foot on top of our left knee and we'll sweep our arms up. Inhale, exhale, lower down, just for a forward fold, folding over the legs. Trying to let those legs be parallel with the front of your bed. You can also bring a pillow underneath the knee and the bottom foot to help you get your legs in that fire lock position. And feel free to keep that pillow underneath your hips for some elevation to help you get down in the fold a little bit better. Rolling back up to a neutral position. We'll do the same thing on the other side. This time stacking the left foot on top of the right knee. And there's an example of bringing that pillow there to help you get into the fire lock position. And we're just coming to a forward fold on this side. Same thing on this side. Go ahead and come back up to a neutral spine and we'll extend those legs out in front. I am going to take the pillows and bring them underneath my hips and keep them there for a little while because I'm starting to sink down into the bed. So this will just help me to maintain good posture in my forward fold. Sweeping those arms up with an inhale, exhale, fold over those legs. Just letting those hands come as far as they can. Don't worry too much about being able to reach your feet, but if you can reach your feet, that's totally fine. Leading with the chest as you lower down, trying to keep the spine long. Coming out of the pose slightly with an inhale and then exhaling to see if you can reach a little bit deeper. Go ahead and release, coming back up to a neutral spine. We'll bend our knees and bring the bottom of our feet together for bound angle, grabbing those ankles or the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, leap with the chest as you fold over the knees. Maybe pressing into the legs with the forearms to deepen the stretch in the hips. Go ahead and roll back up. Just coming to an easy seat, whatever that means for you. And we'll spread the fingers wide, touching the fingertips together, bringing our hands to the Hakini Mudra for focus for our day. 
ending our practice with a few moments of breath and go ahead and set an intention for your day. Maybe something like, I will have a great day. I am capable of facing any obstacles today. Breathing in whatever positive affirmation and breathing out any worry, fear, or doubt. Staying with the breath. As you repeat your intention in your mind, And on your next inhale, release your hands, sweeping those arms up. Exhale, fold the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.